waited so patiently. It's time for our kindergartners and our free kindergartners. Josiah Acevedo. Woo! <laughs> Baby, can mommy have kisses? Oh, let me see. Okay, show them. Show the loveys. Ooh, terrific kid. Are you happy? Yeah. We're so proud of you. I love you. You're such a good kid. You did so good. I love you. Can you talk to daddy? Give daddy besitos. Oh. Mommy's turn. Have a good day at work. It's just you and me, kiddos. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up Bubba's ceremony. He is going to be tagging along with us today. I signed him out of school. He was throwing up all night last night, throughout the night. So I told him to get up this morning and just make it through the first hour of his ceremony at school. And then I would sign him out and take him with me. So he's going to be hanging out with us today. Yay! Just got to the mall. Both babies are passed out. I can just tell my bub doesn't feel good. Look at him. That poor sweet face. So I was gonna go ahead and like run into Walmart and like knock that out for the day before coming to the mall. <clears throat> but I just figured that in order to avoid an extremely long wait at Apple, I should be here when the doors open. So it's currently 9.20, doors open at 10. I'm just sitting in the car waiting to go inside um, so that I can be there as soon as they open. I'm sure even still I'll have an hour wait, but I definitely would rather knock it out now than when it's busier. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hang out in the car for a little bit and then we're gonna go inside and knock that out. And then I'll probably go ahead and grab some food with the kids. Then we'll go to Walmart and knock that out. And then I went ahead and called and got a doctor's appointment at 315 for Zaya. 
um, I just have this feeling that he has something worse than just like a cold. I kind of feel like it might be strep. He was throwing up all night. He's running a fever. He's saying that his throat hurts, his ears hurt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and instead of waiting it out and doing over the counter medicine, just knock it out now. Go in, get it checked out, get him tested and get him an antibiotic if he needs it. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Look at that line, Bubba. How are you feeling, baby? A thumbs down. What's wrong? I just need to go to the doctors. You need to go to the doctors. We're currently just hanging out in the car. Right? Oh. What's wrong? Belly. Belly's hurting? Probably need to throw up again. Oh, oh goodness. Okay, well. Do you really have to? I think so. If you need to, then we need to get out of the car. Careful. Go to the front where the, like, the fence is at. Are you sure you have to? Go to the front up here, where the fence is at. Shut the door so sister doesn't go. He was faking, totally faking. So dramatic. Are you okay? Yeah. Does that feel better? Yeah. Did you get it up? Yeah. Oh, you did? Okay. No, 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 no. She has to okay, give up, girl. All right, so we're just hanging out in the car. I. My goal, I made the appointment at like 3.15. I had, they gave me the options of 2.15 and 3.15. And I made it for later because my goal was to go do everything I needed to do. Walmart, Apple, all of that before coming to the doctor so that the doctor's was the last thing. And then I started thinking about it on the way to Walmart. And I was like, you know what? Not very smart to go get lunch meat and milk and chicken and then put it in the trunk in 98 degree weather while we're inside the doctor's office. Okay. 99.6. Okay, you can step down, all right? Come on, let's go this way. I want to say, I need to see how big you want to shut this. He had any medicine at all today? No. Okay. He woke up at like 1 a.m. throwing up, oh, and then we just let him lay in bed with us. We didn't give him anything. Okay. And then he just, I can just tell he doesn't feel good yeah. today. I'm so. sorry. Did that hurt? Did it tickle? No, it just hurt. Let me see. Say, ah. Uh, put your head back. Tongue out. Ah. Uh, see your little throw bag there. Your little punching bag is red. And you got a little crusty bugs. You feeling a little warm? Are you cold or hot? Cold. You're cold? Like 700 degrees. No? Hmm? I'm really hurting. You're huh? I'm really hurting. You're really hurting. Where? In the hallway. What? She said it's positive. You know what that means? No. That you have strep. A strep. Strep throat. That's what you have. That's just, that's what you're sick with. Girl, get out of there. Close, close that. Close that, now. Oh, it's getting into something. No, don't go in there. Come on, come over here. That's what you have, baby. It's called strep throat. Aviana, get over here now. It's called strep throat. 
why your throat burns and hurts and has red. And that's why you have, that's why you're hot, like you have a fever, but you're cold. I heard that's what they tested you for. And then she just said in the hallway, she said, doctor, it's positive. Bright red positive. That means you really got it. Look at her thinking about it. Thinking about grabbing my coffee. Look, girl, you better keep on thinking. Don't you dare. All right, Bubba, come on. Let's go. Um. What are you doing with your mouth? Girl, you so stingy. No, that's mine. You got your own stuff. Here, get this out of your face. Ooh. Oh. Are you all done? Because I am definitely not going to acknowledge that behavior. So let me know when you're all done. Okay, are you happy now? Can I shop in peace? Probably for all of five minutes while those goldfish last. Huh? Doesn't mommy need this hat? Isn't that so cute? No. I don't need it? Yeah. Why? Because there's a difference between need and want. There's a difference between needing and wanting? Want and need. I don't need that. I mean, it's sparkly. I don't need it. No, you want it. Oh. Okay, well. We need, we, we need stuff like uh, electricity. Okay, so we need electricity, but I don't need the sparkly hat. Yes. Oh, okay. I want it. I mean, I guess you're kind of right, so. Who <laughs> oh, are you saying hi? Get it, girl, get it. <laughs> I can't with you two. Uh -oh. Come here, Bella. Do it again. Don't do it so hard. I don't want her to fall. <laughs> okay, guys. So we decided on Target over Walmart. Target's closer to the house and I didn't want to detour to Walmart. So we're at Target real quick. We're grabbing a few things that we need. And of course, letting the eye tell me what I need. Um, I was trying to avoid Target because I always end up leaving with more than what I came for. And at Walmart, I tend to be able to stick to what I need a little better, but I don't want to detour. So Target it is. They have so much stuff on clearance, so much cute stuff for fall. I'm struggling sticking to the need list. I knew this was gonna happen. I do it to myself every single time. Who wants to bet the total at the register will be $200? Me. <laughs> Zaya said me, and Jose is gonna kill me. Hey guys, we're about to leave Target. We just checked out. Well, we're right. We're out of Target right now. We're going to the car. Oh, my water. I pretty much. I try not. we're going to the to the car, and then when we get home, I'm gonna take a nap, drink some soup, take my medicine, and. See you at the house. Alrighty, love bugs. We are finally <laughs> laundry in the back. Um, we are finally home. I got the kids inside. Got the groceries put away. Put dinner um, on the stove, and then brought the kids upstairs to get them bathed. I made Zaya take a steamy hot shower got sister bathed, 
took them downstairs, got them fed, brought them back up for bed, tucked Zaya in with some Gatorade and his cartoons. Um, so yeah, the kids are all good. And now I'm laying in bed. So I'm going to get some rest and we will see you guys tomorrow.